granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, Ohio State, Utah. Ohio State favored by about a touchdown. It's going to come down to Ohio State. Can they stop the run? I think they can win this game whether or not Utah has over 150 rushing yards. For Ohio State, though, you want it to feel good. You want to have been able to – you want to be able to have corrected some of those issues that you saw against Michigan, the bleeding for yards, that push that they were getting up front. And if you sit there and look at uh, Utah and their rushing attack, Tavian Thomas, very, very talented player. Uh, and then their quarterback, Cam Rising, he's really good running the football, used his legs. You saw him use them against Oregon somewhat in some of these big plays. That's the, that is what this Ohio State front seven is going to have to do to shut them down is put the locks on those dudes. And what's interesting about this is everybody's been playing the 4-2-5 because everyone you know, gets a lot of receivers on the field. Against Utah, Ohio State a little depleted at linebacker. They're going to have to step up and try to get three linebackers on the field as much as possible, um, try to get there to make sure that they can stop the edge. Utah runs a lot of tight end wing formations, two tight ends beside each other, love to run behind it, get that push out there on the edge, run their little inside zone, outside zone, and create some of those seams. Going to have to be real stout and be real physical there. I think C.J. Stroud will have a day. I don't think Utah has enough to be able to slow down uh, this offense. Don't probably foresee Garrett Wilson playing. I think Chris Olave is going to try to find a way to play, even if it's just for a half. I think you'll see him out there on the field. Um, and then, obviously, Jackson Smith and Jigba. But with that, I think we'll get to see a nice little dose of uh, Mar uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., get him out there, see what he can ultimately do. Had a really, really strong spring in Mecca and Buka. Um, they've got some really, really talented young wide receivers. And we've only seen these guys just kind of scratch the surface with what they've been able to do. So excited to see those dudes get out there on the field. Maybe if Garrett Wilson doesn't go out and play.